What's up everybody, Frankie5152 here, and here we are, the Paradox Brothers are gone, no more, I hope you got all the things you needed, oops, that is not what I wanted to show, let's get back, I don't know what's going on here, but that means Mokuba, or Mokuba, Mokuba, sorry, Mokuba Kaiba is here, um, I am, to be honest, I'm already having a horrible time with this event, because I have been on since 4.30. It is now 7.43. And I have had one level 30 show up so far. And I just don't understand it. Uh, it's kind of kind of upsetting to me. Uh, so here I am going to do a farming video. But I've only got one farm to show you. Uh, we'll go over his rewards first. Uh, there was one for playing a level 1. I don't remember what it is. Uh, the number two is the Lava Dragon. You contribute this face-up defense position card to special summon two level three or lower dragon type monsters from your hand and one from your graveyard. Kenmoto. This is the card that everybody wants. It allows you to special summon a blue eyes white dragon from your hand. Or deck, I think, right? You can special summon, uh, special summon one dragon type monster from your hand. So from your hand. Ah, uh, then we have the Divine Dragon. Uh, once per turn, you can discard one card. Then target one Dragon-type monster in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. So it allows you to bring cards back from your graveyard. Ah, uh, this one. The Mosaic Manticore. During your standby phase of your, your next turn after you tribute, summon this face-up card on the field. Special summon from the graveyard as many monsters as possible that were used for its tribute summon. They cannot declare attack. Their effects are negated. The Frost and Flame Dragon cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by banishing one fire, two water monsters from your graveyard and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Once per turn. You can discard one card to target one monster on the field. Destroy that target. It's a unique ability, kind of looking forward to it, uh, trying that out. I've heard some, I've seen some great ideas with the uh, Sacred Phoenix. So, looking to try out that kind of stuff. Uh, let's do one more round, see if it'll show up for me, because, you know, that'd be great. No, still not here. Uh, so, we'll go through the farming videos. Uh, for this one, you're going to need two different farming videos. You are going to need two because of the level 30 and the level 40 are a little bit different. Uh, the level 30 uses a uh, potion of the old man, I believe it is, which can deal you 800 damage right off the get-go. So Elements Unite, which I use for level 40, we'll get to that one here in a little bit. I haven't tested it out, but I remember from the event from last time and what I've seen so far it's exactly the same. So if you remember your farm decks from last time, use those, they weren't great. Here's my level 30. Looks very familiar to what I was just using for the Paradox Brothers, uh, except for I took out the Jar of Greeds, uh, the, oh, the Pot of Greeds, I think, no, Jar of Greeds, and put in Ryoko Field. This will negate the activation of a spell or trap card. Oh, the spell card. When a spell card that targets exactly one monster on the field and none others is activated, evade the activation. If you do, destroy it. I use that, as you will see in the video that I have, to negate the activation of his ritual weapons. That way he can power up, can't power up his hamburger too much to destroy me. Um, but very simple Piranha Army. If you prefer to use Union Attack, you can do that as well with the... Uh, Vassal. I prefer that one to be with the Piranha Army. So now we'll go to our level 40 farm. Level 40, I'm using Elements Unite. He has nothing to get over your Gate Guardian once you summon it. Uh, also, he has nothing to deal you 500 damage. Uh, so basically, I am trying to get my Dark Paladin on the farm, on the field. Uh, due to the fact he will discard dragons, 
I use him because he will power himself up. Uh, also, I use Gravekeeper Recruiter with Wonder Wand to help go speed through my deck. The faster you can get through this deck, the easier it will be. Um, you will need an anti-magic arrow or trap jammer to stop his negate attack, which he has, and he will use on his last turn to stop you. Um, on this one, I do use my Gravekeeper Vassals with my Union Attack. Here is the Union Attack. Uh, I only have one Union Attack, so I use Spell Reclamation. Simple, easy way to get it back and use it again. Uh, a lot of times you'll have an extra card. Uh, so this deck is built for speed, is built to just get through it real quick. You will hopefully have your Dark Paladin on the field with your Guardian, uh, your Gate Guardian. Uh, two Unions attack will be more than enough to get your Vassal, of course, over and through whatever it is. And of course, do not forget your Secret Pass to the Treasures. So that way you don't have to worry about anybody with defense. Um, another thing that works for both is the lab builder skill. If you have that, if you are fortunate enough to have that, use that skill for, especially for the level 30. Oh, aren't we lucky? Let's see what we got here. Maybe we'll be able to test this out. And we have the level 40 right here. So I couldn't have planned that better timing. Seriously, been waiting what is it 730 was it 430 so three 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 solid hours almost three and a half and only one level 30 had showed up all right we are going first which is great time to fight Turn this up you're trapped and the doors are all locked when you see me Elements of thunder, water, and there we go. I turn. My turn. I'm actually going to use the magic 
Okay. My hand. I activate a spell. One with Otis. Anti-magic arrows. Secret power. Back into the back. Perfect. Unfortunately, we got our other controller. I activate a continuous spell. I set a power. Now, I summon a monster in attack position from my hand. I activate an equip spell. I activate an equip spell. I activate my monster's effect. I set a card. Right, I it's my turn. Looks like that. We're down to Here eight cards. It's my Seven turn. cards. I draw. Six cards. Over my face down car. My trap. Two birds. I flip over my <laughs> face down car. I'm ending my Here turn. Here we go. It's my turn. I draw. Go. I set a set. Up. I start off reclamation. I and end I my turn. All right. I draw. <laughs> I prepare ending yourself. my turn. It's my turn. I draw. We're gonna hang on to that side of green. Activate a continuous spell. Good point. You don't need it. Awesome. You do need a fusion gate though. Which apparently does not want to fill up. So we gotta make sure we keep all the important cards for that. So our anti-magic arrow we will set. Secret pass. I set a card. Oh. I end my turn. Here I go. I draw. Well, these are six cards in hand. Two I left to draw. Ha ha ha. I draw. It's my turn. It's my turn. I draw. You don't. We draw a one to one, but that's okay. On our turn, we will get rid of our gray keeper there. My turn. All right. I draw. <laughs> Here I we go. Ending my turn. It's my turn. I draw. There we go. Final turn. From my heart. I activate a field spell. I activate a field spell. I summon a monster in attack position. I play my face down card. I activate a spell. That's the best. They keep the best. Good. Let me repair a union attack. From my hand, I activate a spell. I play my face down card. My trap activates. Oh, we get our minion attack back. We will From my hand, I activate a spell. That's the first hand to the battle. 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 I, activate the anti I play my arrow. face down card. I activate a quick play spell. You are eliminated. 
eliminated. My monster attacks you next. Oh. There it is. Very quick, very simple. I'll just gotta remember no, to attack wait. the cards at the right My time. My monster's power and levels were much higher than yours. You faced pain beyond description. Very easily hit the nine, 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 nine damage mark. And there it is, the 8K. But of course, you gotta love the rewards. Oh, this here, your dragon's rage during the battle between an attacking dragon type monster who you control and a defensive defense position monster whose defense is lower than the attack the attack might inflict the difference of that battle damage. Uh, that is what you get for beating Mokuba once. So very simple, very easy. easy and if you have more of those cards that are foil or even um, not just foil but glossy or prismatic, you will do a lot better. Uh, the point, but as you saw, I usually got AK and I do not have many. Uh, so now we will go for the 30, 30. That one I only average about 7k on. Do one plays. Uh, if you are still watching, please do me a favor, hit that. There it is. Hit that subscribe. Oh, I'm not I've done that before. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment what you think. What kind of decks are you using to farm in? Do you have Labyrinth Builder? Do you prefer to use Labyrinth Builder? Uh, do you have a different skill for level 40? Here we go. Of course, using this Holy Guard skill. I'm ready to duel. And Time I to start, start off the just game. Exactly what I need. Mean. One real and turn. an unhappy guy. From my hand, I have a quick play man. spell. Quick 800 damage play so spell. Cannot use elements tonight. It's my turn. my turn. I draw your perfect. Battle. Let's do this. My monster attacks. My turn's over. All right. <laughs> I'm ending my turn. Here I go. I draw. My turn's over. All right. My I draw. That's never this too early. Turn one. Uh, I activate the really uh, out the Here's uh, a for the rear yoke shield. Look at him. Here I go. Ending uh, my turn. I draw. Here goes nothing. I attack with my monster. Your my turn's over. Right. I draw. This will be perfect. Yeah. That is the only tuning important thing about this. You haven't seen anything yet. Stop. My turn. I draw. Let's do this. I attack with my monster. My turn's All over. Right. I draw. Here I go. <laughs> I I draw. My turn. From my hands. I act. My Here turn's I go. over. I draw! This will be perfect. <laughs> you I haven't seen anything yet. My turn. My I draw. You're perfect. Once again, I'm I still not 100% sure of all of his cards, so I am not setting my fusion gate my just in case he has a D spell or something like that. I attack in with the realm aid to help speed up the process a little bit. Uh, with the farming, you don't want to be spending nothing. a lot of time. You just want to make I sure you do things correctly. Uh, so I got one of the real fields. I'm not too worried because I already have one set. I activate a spell. Uh, the pre-preparation of rights, not a big deal. You're just going to get another hamburger recipe out there. <laughs> Here I go. I end my draw. I activate a continuous spell. Come on out. You see, just drawing more and more cards. I'm going to set the fusion gate. Make sure I try and have as many cards that I need set so I'm not accidentally discarding those. My turn's over. Here I go. I have unfortunately lost too many duels trying to farm by accidentally discarding the wrong one. It is embarrassing. I'm glad I didn't do it while recording today. You're perfect. I summon a monster in attack position. Let's 
But with these decks, very easy two for two against Mokuba. Um, and unfortunately, it's going to take good high scores. You're going to need that seven to eight K consistently because the drop and the rate in which he shows up are not very good. After this video, hopefully maybe he'll show up again. I'll be able to show another one live. I'm not really live because I'm recording and I'm posting it to YouTube. But I'm recording live. I'm not editing any of this out. So there he is, the with the ritual weapon. I'm not gonna negate that one. Because guess what? He had another one. And with one of them, he's not able to get over the unhappy girl enough to do enough damage to finish you. And if he can't finish you right away, she will not attack. Now I'm able to lock down his hamburger recipe. Uh, so I'm not going to use the Supremacy Berry. Uh, I'm going to keep my life points right where they're at. Uh, to get that comeback victory later on. My turn's over. Quickly coming up on the last turn here. Once again, make sure I don't discard any important cards, so I set it. Now we need to set up for the last turn. So we are going to summon our Red Eyes Black Dragon. Then Fusion Summon together the Black Meteor Dragon. Make sure we leave that one space open for the Piranha Army. Here I, my turn's oh, over. Right. I draw. Here I go. I, I draw. I hope turn. you can help me. So here we go, Piranha draw Army. Secret passage. I activate a spell. Then we will use the Ryoku on our own meter of Black spell. Dragon. We could have used the hamburger that the 35 got in the same exact effect. Then we use Gift of the Matrix, which is important because it uses the card's base power. And then, of course, the Anti-Magic Arrow. I know he doesn't have anything, but never. It's always good to be safe and sorry at the end of the game. Uh, with the Piranha Army, of course, his battle damage is doubled, so we hit the 999 damage. We are able to move on. Uh, once again, I got, sorry I don't have a video of the full thing. Of, we got the 7K. We'll do one more walk around. And that is going to be it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you were able to build a deck out of those. And I'll see you guys around.